So we've all dealt with ups and downs, um, and you posted this letter that you wrote yourself a while ago, giving yourself life advice. I love this. Where were you in life when you wrote this? Like, were you hugely successful already? Were you, like, what was happening? I think I was, I was working. I was like, boy, my penmanship, so the <laughs> nuns would be furious. Um, I was working, but I think, you know, it's like at every stage, you're always like, what am I doing? What am I, you always kind of, I think uh, through my 30s, I was still like, what am I doing? Yeah. Like you always, I think your expectations are unrealistic. And it's not until you kind of get past that that you look back and you go, oh, that was okay. That was a good, like, yeah. I was fine then. I just didn't know it yet. So I, I was like, I want to stop doing that thing of realizing five years after the fact that I was really doing okay. And I should mm. have just appreciated the moment. So I kind of wrote this to be like, I want to look at myself now and go through all of those moments and just be like, we're so hard on ourselves, I think. Oh my like, gosh, yeah. Just across the board and it's like, it's okay to just be like, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Well, I love your advice to yourself. Would you talk us through some of these wise words? I love this one. First, in 10 years, you will not remember his name. <laughs> I love that. It's true. Because it is, it seems so huge in the moment. I, I, I know that I was thinking about just when you think, that's it, that's it, that's the one. And I'm like, and I was trying to go back and I was like, okay, let's make a list of all these ones because I've got the one. Yeah. Now I know I got, I got the, the one. Uh, and I started to try to make a list and I was like, I know he wore combat boots. <laughs> and I started being like, oh my God, I can't even remember his name. That's, I can't remember, like, and I was like, you didn't, you didn't stop my progression but I was so devastated, or so I thought, because I think I'd, yeah. I don't even know if I liked, I mean, I liked people plenty, but I think it was more about putting the, the pressure on myself to be like, everyone had to be the one, or the job had to be the yeah. thing. And I'm like, what if it's just in the next process? Step. It's a step, because yeah. I can't remember that guy's name yeah. to save my life, and then I just have to- Or you're just like, why did I date that person? <laughs> yeah. How lonely was and what I? Would I have told, <laughs> what would I have told my friend if they would have like been out with this guy? I would yeah, exactly. Like, this guy? Yeah. Instead, I was like, well. <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't like a, I wasn't like a, a wimpy person. I think it's just part of yeah. kind of coming into yourself. I, mean, you I think you could be a, a strong people though, like especially if you're so strong and you're a passionate person, you're 100% into something. Yeah. So I get like I'm that too. Gal. Yeah. Okay, so um, you also wrote, just eat the damn cookie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, hey, I will tell you, recently I've stolen Jesse and Jason's diet. They call it the joy diet. It's whatever brings you joy. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> It's like Marie Kondo, but with food. Because yes. you find yourself, honestly, you find yourself going, well, do I really want it? Like, and sometimes you don't, but like when you really do, you do it. I just yeah. think. Yeah. I've, like, and what does the cookie represent exactly? There's many cookies. Exactly. There's many cookies. Yeah. It's also just about like, I'm not gonna make myself feel bad anymore. Yeah. I'm gonna eat the damn pasta. It's not even about the eating. It's just like, do, what, do the thing that you love because you love it. If it's not hurting you or hurting anybody else, yeah. some imaginary standard, I'm like, if I don't eat the cookie, I'm not gonna wake up 6'2 and modeling. <laughs> it's not gonna change. I'm like, I'm okay where I am. I'm not like, oh God, my legs are fun, I have longer. It's like, but all the denying and like doing so much of like, you shouldn't, I don't, don't do, don't do, limit your coffee. Maybe I should switch from whole milk. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff now, I'm yeah. just like, I'm going to, if it's not detrimental to me or anyone else, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have the damn cookie. You know what, we're gonna end there. <laughs>